everybody doing today? Okay, so today, uh, for those that don't know me, golly, my hair is a crazy mess. That don't know me, I am uh, Tracy Gorick. I'm a healing coach, an energy healer, and a spiritual mentor. And I use mindset also to help you heal as a whole. Um, I go in energetically and I look and see what's wrong and going on and why you have the illness. And then I go um, clear it out and heal it. And then we talk about the mental reasons why that was caused and we work on that. And then we work on the mindset so you can hold that to help you stay healed. And if you don't do everything, even if you have a diagnosis from a doctor or other things, if you don't do that, then you don't stay well it'll come back unless you work on the mental causes. And I said this before, like I have one patient that it really wasn't a mental cause, it was an injury that had happened and then, then um, negative energy was able to get in and cause him the issues. So I only had one client that's like that. Um, so that being said, that's what I do. So I wanted to talk to, to you today about the importance of using your intuition. Um, I've noticed more and more uh, the, my intuition getting stronger and stronger in dealing with different things and when, when I hear different things that aren't right and don't resonate with me I get a real ugh. it like just does not feel right and I almost just need to be away from it and so the more you get like that the better off you're gonna be because your body will tell you immediately and you'll feel it immediately where you need to be what you need to listen to what you need to be doing and when you can get there you will be in the right places at the right time and get the right information. And then you'll know like when something's not right or somebody's speaking to you something that's not right or something you see. And it's getting stronger and stronger um, when you can learn to uh, work it. So that's one thing that I want you guys to do when I tell you every day, do that, practice that, pay attention to how your body is reacting wherever you're at in different situations and you'll be able to pick up on things very quickly um, that or where you shouldn't be or who you shouldn't be around or if that is a truth for you when you hear it from somewhere the news whatever you will learn very quickly what is right for you and your body's not gonna lie to you okay that's the one truth you have is you and your body is very very um, strong and intuitive to tell you what's going on and that's the first thing to tell you when you're not eating right when you're um, getting sick it's it's the first thing to tell you what you need you need to pay attention to what's going on in your life and what's going on around you so it's time to pay attention don't ignore the signs that your body's giving you on all sides whether it's for being well for what's going on in your life for being in certain places for eating certain foods listen to your body and the more you do it the stronger it gets and you get to the point where then there's no doubt you don't even question when you are um, shown something by your body and that's where you need to get is where you don't doubt it anymore because it took me a long time to get there I was like well maybe that's my mind making it up no I just started listening and when I felt something then I went with it and that's what you need to pay attention to okay and you get there and you get your intuition strong you're gonna be in an awesome place and it's gonna feel so good for you and then you'll feel good about what you've done because you know you're doing everything that you were supposed to do that your soul wanted that where you wanted to be so any questions with that and healing is what really gets you to be able to open up um, go ahead and clarify that Deborah that question um, and I'll answer it. It's not just undiagnosed illness that I work with. So, but I, I specifically do undiagnosed illness um, because doctors, I have several clients where the doctors couldn't find anything and when I go in there, I find it energetically and I remove it and help them heal. It's happened over and over and over again. So that's why undiagnosed illness. If you have any more questions on that, let me know. Um, so, that's why it's good to go in and heal your body, mind, and soul because then it helps you be able to listen to your intuition a lot more. Hi Heather, how are you? I'm glad you caught it. Um, so healing your body, mind, and soul helps clear out your body so you're able to hear, hear your intuition, hear your body talking to you. When you have the other stuff weighing you down, then it's more difficult. And this time and day and age right now, it's so important to be able to have your intuition and be able to follow it and listen to it. Um, 
So that's what I have. Any more questions on that, let me know. It, your body's always talking to you. I know a bunch of people just came in. So your body's always talking to you. You want to go back and listen to it. And healing your body, mind, and soul is, helps you open up and be able to see it, hear it clearer. Uh, your body's always talking to you, and you need to pay attention. Just pay attention. Just pay attention to where your mind is taking you. And when I mean your mind, it's like your body. Just pay attention. It's more your body. You need to drop with your thoughts into your heart, into your body, and stay out of your mind because your mind is a fight or flight. And um, it doesn't always take you in the right direction. It's more of let's take care of you when that's not necessarily what you need. So pay attention to how your body feels in different situations. Um, so that's what I got for today. I'm going to do the healing now if you want to participate. It will come to you if you want. If you don't, it won't come to you. It's just be open to receiving if you would like it. Uh, this is to help you relieve stress and anxiety. But if you have a pain and you want it, put that intention out there. And the energy will go where it's needed. So um, if you're ready, go ahead and sit back and relax. And I want you to imagine the violet flame at your feet, below your feet coming up and around and through your whole energy and your body. It's cleansing, clearing, and purifying everything. And any negative thoughts that come up, just put them in the violet flame. And any negative self-talk that comes up, just put that in the violet flame. And then any negativity from others, even conscious or unconscious, that you feel that's maybe come around your energy, just put that in the violet flame. Even any negative talk from others or anything you've been around that's weighed you down, just put that in the violet flame. You want to release everything that could be holding you back from healing and receiving healing. And then anything from the consciousness that maybe you have been around or picked up on, put that in the violet flame. And when you feel it's done and you have everything in that violet flame that's holding you back right now, send it back up to source to transmute it. And remember, you can always bring in the violet flame. When you're done with it, always send it up to source to transmute it, okay? Now I'm going to begin bringing the energy in to help you, calm you, release anxiety and stress, and heal anything that it can. Okay, that's what we have for today. Um, um, thank you, Rachel. I'm so glad you're here. Um, so that's the healing for today. Come back, wiggle your fingers and your toes, make sure you're totally back. And uh, any questions, let me know. Um, so go imagine, dream, write your most perfect, beautiful day that you can imagine. And I want you to call it to you. Write it, sense it, feel it, imagine it, dream it. And that's what you're going to have. That's what you're going to bring to you. And you want to keep it to you. Keep it positive. No negative towards other people that you want out, gone, whatever. Um, 
Then go do something that you love, something that brings you joy, something that lifts you up. Sing, dance, watch a movie, whatever that is for you, do it. And then go do some self-care. Have some tea, have a detox bath, meditate, pray, whatever it is that, that is self-care for you, do that at least one time a day. And then um, go say something kind to somebody else. Lift them up and lift you up, right? That is the biggest thing you can do. It's going to make a big difference in your life. Well, all of these are, but that's a huge one that you don't really realize how much you lift yourself and raise your vibrations up when you say something nice to any somebody else. Do you guys see those orbs floating around behind me? <laughs> um, and then write 10 things you're grateful for. You start doing this, I promise you, it's going to make a difference in your life. Um, all these things together really, really will begin your healing journey. It'll help open you up your intuition and help you guide you so you know where you need to be and what you're supposed to be doing and paying attention to. It's really, really important to start paying attention to your intuition and not just listening to what others are saying. And that would include what I'm saying to you because my truth is for me and I'm putting out there and hopefully it helps some people because there's some people that can relate and understand what I'm saying because they're in the same place as me, right? Um, but just learn to use your intuition and when, and even if it's being like, it's, Oh, this is a fact. Just learn to use your intuition to it. Okay guys, that's what I have for today. If this helped you and you think it can help others, please show it to them. I'm trying to get to as many people as I can with these free healings um, that I'm doing every day, except Sundays. Um, I'm taking Sundays off right now, but this is just to help the consciousness and help people come from the anxiety and stress because I know a lot of people being stuck at home, it really is um, causing more anxiety and stress for them. So that's it for today. I will see you all tomorrow. I hope you have a beautiful day and any questions, please let me know. Love you all. Bye.